Let's say you have this great worksheet or document that you like to use when teaching a topic, but you want to extend the learning. This one, for example, comes from Common Sense Media, which I love to use, and I want students to not only spot the fishing clues, but also explain more in their own words after this activity. So what I can do is go to chatgpt.com and I can save this document as a PDF here on the left. If you already have it as a PDF, perfect. If you don't, you can just save it as a PDF so then you can upload it to ChatGPT. Once you have it as a PDF, you can type in your prompt here and this will be something like, uh, I'm a computer science teacher. I am teaching ninth grade students about phishing scams. The students will complete the attached PDF. Can you write five follow-up questions they must answer after completing this worksheet? Then I'm going to click on the little paper clip and find that PDF on my computer. So that will upload not only the prompt, but also the PDF. So ChatGPT will create these activities based on the PDF and based on what you're asking for in the prompt. You can see that it is writing those activities, exactly what I asked for, based on the information that it got from the PDF. From there, I can go back to my document and I can add another page of reflection questions using the exact questions that ChatGPT came up with. So the lesson will flow really nicely because these are direct questions based on the PDF and the prompt I gave it. So from here, you can clean up the questions. You can reword them as needed. You can break them out into more questions. You can personalize them so they match exactly what you are thinking. Now, if you find yourself having to make a lot of corrections, then you can just go back to ChatGPT. So in this instance, I wanted to bring the reading level down a little bit. So I just went back to ChatGPT and dropped in a prompt that made it level the wording down to a third grade level. Now, my students were not third graders, but I really wanted ChatGPT to just lower the reading level so it was very easy to understand and students knew exactly what question I wanted them to answer. So you can see ChatGPT took those questions and just brought them down to an easier reading level. And then I can take those exact questions and bring all of them over or just take the ones that I thought needed to be a little bit easier to understand for all my students to be able to answer those questions well. And once you have your questions all cleaned up and you're ready to go, you have taken a PDF that you were already going to use with your students and you've added the extended learning of adding those discussion questions very quickly based on the PDF. So now we're going to get it ready to assign. This assignment will be done online by students. So I'm going to go ahead and put in some highlighted areas where I want them to answer in on that worksheet. And then I'm also going to just write a one sentence direction for my students to complete the reflection questions in complete sentences. Now that the worksheet is ready, I can bring it over to Google Classroom or whatever learning management system you are using. And the biggest thing that you want to do here is make a copy for each student. And when you do that inside of Google Classroom, everyone is going to get the same exact document, but they're all going to be able to edit their own document and answer without seeing anyone else's work. So this is a great way to send out a digital worksheet that can first start from a worksheet you already have. We dropped that PDF into ChatGPT to expand the learning a little bit more added those questions into it, and now we're sending it through Google Classroom so the students can complete their work. You can drop any questions that you have about how I did this, how I used ChatGPT to create more questions for a PDF in the comments below. And if you've loved this video and it's helped you create more meaningful content in your classroom quickly, then definitely like and subscribe to the channel so you can get all things educational technology to make your teacher life easier. We will see you in the next video.